I'm going to show you how to set a hidden lead source to an Infusionsoft web form so that when a contact is created, that lead source is tied correctly to that contact and follows that contact throughout the contact's lifecycle with your business. To do that, once, uh, once you're in an Infusionsoft campaign and you've created a web form, you'll see here I've got a lead source tracking web form. Go ahead and click into it. And you'll want to add just one hidden field, which I've called here lead source. And I'll go ahead and just show you what I, how I did that. Go to field snippets, and then there's this hidden option. Drag that anywhere on the form, and then just choose lead source. And you can hard code a lead source here if you want. Um, for example, if you have a landing page that is specific to one lead source, say if your Facebook ads, then that's fine. You could just type in you know Facebook ads into this into this uh, value here, and it'll always attach that to the contacts that are coming in. The other option though is if you have multiple lead sources coming to the same landing page where contacts are opting in, you'll want to pass the lead sources dynamically based on where that contact is coming from. So if they come from Google, from a Google pay-per-click ad, you'll pass a, you know, the lead source called Google pay-per-click rather than the Facebook or a trade show or whatever your lead source is. So in this case, I'm going to leave it blank. and I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to make sure that I've got the lead source attached uh, in Infusionsoft that it's there and available to me. So I'm going to open up my lead sources here in Infusionsoft. And to get there, you'll go to Marketing Settings. And then on the left, you'll find lead sources. So here I am. Let's say I'm going to do uh, another Facebook ad. So I'm just going to do a quick search for Facebook. You'll see I've got two Facebook lead sources. One is for Facebook groups for any sort of um, uh, things that I'm doing there, if uh, you know activities and things. But there's also this Facebook ads. And the important piece is this ID. For whatever reason, uh, Infusionsoft is going to want the ID, not necessarily the name of the lead source. So we're going to remember 28. And then we're going to type in some specific code into the URL of where that landing page is. So I'm looking at the default landing page for this specific form. And what you can't see is the hidden field, which is here. It's down below, called lead source. And what I've done is I've added uh, an additional piece of code. So question mark lead source ID equals. And before it was 239. In this case, if you recall back, this is uh, 28 is what I want. So 28. I'm going to. Re reload this page. So now what happens is if I go into uh, this form and I submit it, I'm going to get the lead source of Facebook ad. But if we come back into uh, Infusionsoft and we, or sorry, yeah, Infusionsoft and we choose um, Google PPC pay per click, and then 50, then up here in this lead source ID, then I need to choose 50 for that one. And so in Facebook, when I go to create my ad. I want the link to be this with lead source, lead source ID equals 28. But when I go to Google uh, or my trade show or whatever, then that lead source ID is going to change per lead source. And that's going to be added into that contact. Now, there is some something just to be aware of, a small disclaimer here, which is sometimes, there, depending on how you're using the Infusionsoft web form, if you're not using the JavaScript, then the web form doesn't know to pull this ID from from up here in the address bar, the query string. So you'll want to use some third-party code, or if you have uh, WordPress, there's um, a tool out there called URL Params, uh, a plugin that you can put in that will do the same thing. It'll grab that and put it into the hidden field with some, you know, a little bit of know-how. But if you're using, you know, any uh, Infusionsoft default landing pages or web forms. Um, then this should do it for you. So uh, once you've got that um, dialed in and ready to go, then just make sure, again, all your lead sources have the right links, and uh, all the contacts added into Infusionsoft will be set appropriately.